Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the coding with T. Today we are going to create our fifth flutter tutorial. We are in section one and we are about to create our fifth video which is to organize the code or organize the flutter code. Okay open android studio. We are inside the project we created in our previous tutorial for specifically for this series. Okay in here you can see the code we are writing is in the only one function which is the main function and inside this run app. So we cannot create our whole application only in just one function as Dart follows object oriented programming concept so we can easily convert our code into classes and we can easily manage our code so let's quickly see how we can do that. Okay the first thing that we are going to do outside this main class let's create a new class simply with the class keyword and name of the class will be my app and curly brackets. So this is how we create a simple class in any programming language. So we have a class here but as in the flutter we need to define it either stateless or the stateful class uh, or the stateless stateful widget. So for that we have to extend it with stateless widget and it requires override methods. You just have to click on it. Click on this bulb icon or by clicking here you can press alt enter and click on this create one missing override and it is going to basically create a method a build method which is just returning a widget so as you can see it is a stateless widget stateless widgets are basically those widgets uh, which do not change their position once they are deployed on the screen or once the application is running so for example uh, let's take a scaffold this app bar so this app bar will never change its state User will only see this dashboard, user cannot change the name of the dashboard, design of this app bar, the center text, text span, my flutter app, it's bold, blue, 30 and 50 sizes. So user cannot basically change these things. So we can easily put these things in the stateless widgets. Okay in here you can see we created a stateless widgets by this way but there is another simple way which I prefer. So let's remove this and you just have to write STLES. And you can see by writing st you have stateless, stateful, state animation, constant and abstract methods. So when we write stateless and hit enter, you can see we have a class, give it a class name which is my app. So this is the constructor it has created for our class. So we will talk about the constructor in our next videos. And again this is the override method and this time it's overriding a return container which is a widget. So we can pass any widget instead of this container here so let's jump back to material app minimize it i'm going to cut it from here Control x and going to paste it over this container remove this container and paste our material at the end we have a comma so we need a semicolon remove the comma now this error is gone our material app which we created over in the run app has been moved to our class which is my app so minimize it you can see we don't have any error now in here we just have to call my app and that's it okay before further organizing our this code first let's see how we can simplify this run app we can use fat arrows instead of this design uh, what are basically the fat arrows fat arrows are going to remove these curly braces with these fat arrows so to do this let me just remove these curly brackets it will be on the next line and in here we just have to write this equal sign and a greater than sign and it is going to work like a fat arrow so why we use these fat arrows whenever we have a single line of code in a class in a function so we can convert that into the fat arrows and our code will be simplified okay now let's jump back to this my app class and you can see still we have a bunch of thing here so again to organize this code you can see we are inside this material app which will be used only once and it is and it is currently containing the data of our whole application so we will create only one app it contains the theme of our application it contains bunch of other things which are basically for the whole application not for one screen so to divide it into screens let's go to the lib folder right click new and create a directory i'm going to name it screens and inside this screens create a new file 
and I'm going to name it dashboard dot dot okay hit enter and you can see we again have a dashboard file for those who watch my previous videos or the first video in which we created our application uh, I just have a quick question for one to two seconds I'm going to pause that uh, what we have to write at first when we create a new file in flutter okay some are good and some are confused maybe so we just have to import a package which is which is a material dot dot package we have to import this in all the classes we create all the dot files we create okay inside this we again have to create a class so now you are going to tell me how we have to create a class right stateless so we created a class which is stateless and I am going to name it dash dashboard you can name it anything as per your own screen so you can see it created a class returning a container now head back to the main file and in here you can see this app bar basically represents our one single screen not the whole application so app bar for other application will be something else you can see it's written dashboard over here it's a blue gray so and then in the body of this scaffold we have the text so let's cut this scaffold from there till it's written the scaffold control x head back to the dashboard file and instead of this container paste by control v at the end of this comma add semicolon and the error is gone now you can see we have a screen with the app bar and its body it can be anything we will create much more in the upcoming videos you know we have a one screen which is the dashboard head back to the main file how we can call that dashboard and I'm going to select the first one which is the dashboard add brackets and that's it and now you can see this import package has been imported package colon my first flutter app name of the app screens and dashboard when I'm going to remove this thing you can see it still works so you can import by just calling the screens and dashboard dot dot why it's working because all the files in the flutter are in this lib folder so we can give the path next to this lib folder right we have a screens here and then we have dashboard dot dot okay now in here you can see we have divided our main function and then again we have created our material app dashboard all the things that we need only once for our application separately inside main dot dot and we name it the my app class now whenever we are dealing with our applications with our specific screens we don't have to indulge with our whole application so once we complete all the configurations for our application in here we don't have to touch it again we will only deal with our specific screens so for now uh, in this material app let's create this theme mode and again this theme mode dot system now it's basically going to whatever the light or the dark theme our system is using okay so now let's try to run our application and let's see if we have any changes or not okay now you can see our application is running and there is no change in our application so this means that we successfully organized the code without any change now let's try to see if a theme mode works or not basically it's not gonna work because we statically add all the colors click on this dark mode and in here you can see nothing changed okay so that's it for uh, this tutorial if you learn something new please like the video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get notified because more videos are coming again thank you for watching take care Allah Hafiz